Zambia and Mekwibia Syria topic ya leo. We are talking about burns on the health segment. Sijui, ni jumini mhot? No, I'm not serious, no. <laughs> at 254 Facebook, at 254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is why in the morning. It's a beautiful Monday. A little bit cold, but ni sawa. We got you. We are the Lydia's breakfast show around. My name is Valentine, or at Color Me, Valana Penanga Colors. And today we have a very handsome firefighter to tell us about the, how to take care of ourselves if perhaps we suffer burns or scalds. And there's a difference. A lot of tangusha kizungu. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Karibu Sana Studio. Santi. What is your good name? Yes, my name is John Muli. Mm -hmm. uh, Muli is a firefighter mm -hmm. and also an emergency medical technician from mm -hmm. uh, ICT Fire and Rescue. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'm licensed by the Kenya Council of Emergency Medical Technicians mm -hmm. and I'm glad to be on the show today. Loki, I was hoping you'd come with your firefighter uniform. Uh, and okay, I'm used mm -hmm. to the heat anyway mm -hmm. uh, but uh maybe we, next next time we can uh okay we have to more. pinky promise on it you promise the next time you're coming with your uniform <laughs> yes it's binding you ah, have okay. to pinky, <laughs> pinky long time promise since I did that. Okay. okay all right so let's talk what is a burn and what is a scout what's the difference so uh one mm -hmm. a burn is uh when your tissues body tissues are damaged mm -hmm. as, an, as a result of uh exposure to excess heat mm -hmm. Uh, it may be from uh, flame or uh, if you touch a, a hot object. Mm -hmm. Now, a skull, on the other hand, uh, these are basically, you can say it's uh, as a result of uh, when you get burned by liquids or uh, steam, mm -hmm. maybe water, some more to uh, milk. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, so basically that's the difference. Mm -hmm. One is from dry and the other one is from wet heat. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a story. There's once in my childhood was filled with <laughs> very many adventures. Among them, some mango manituma, I think you call Majimoto. Yeah, so I got the kitchen. I'm very small at the time because I was very young. So I have to climb a stool to get to the counter. Kabla ni chukwe tamo. So sana mimi, sijui ni kuna fikiri aji. Bala kufikiri aku mwaga hivi maji, ni kajiambia no. Wacha nifanyi hivi. So I'll do it this. The cup is here and I missed, obviously. I missed a lafu ni maji chini. So everything is slippery and then I fell after Majumagilia Majimoto. A lafu san meangu kevi. So it's just a mess. So after my, my skin, ni chomeka tumbo. My skin was and disgusting and, and it was bubbly, bubbly. What happened? What was that? Uh, okay. <laughs> Burns are very dynamic. <sighs> they can range from um, a very minor burn to. Mm -hmm a very complex and uh, severe burn. Mm -hmm. uh, we can describe them in, uh, in terms of uh, classification by their severity in depth. Mm -hmm. in the depth. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, majorly we have three uh, in the severity by depth. Mm -hmm. So we say uh, the first one is uh, the first degree. Mm -hmm. A first degree burn basically is uh, your skin uh, as two layers and then an underlying tissue. Mm -hmm. So uh, a first degree burn is when you get burned and uh, only the top layer of your skin is affected. Mm -hmm. That's uh, basically from uh, maybe if you briefly touch a hot uh, object mm -hmm. or from not so hot uh, source of heat, mm -hmm. you'll get a first degree burn. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with that, uh, you, you might not need to even see a doctor. Mm -hmm. be basically, it might heal uh, with time. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about how we manage it anyway. Mm -hmm. Then we have a second degree burn. A mm -hmm. second degree burn is uh, when both layers of your skin, that is the epidermis and the dermis, are affected. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this, uh, you get to see blisters. Now, uh, a very red skin. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is what you might have got. Oof. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you have a third degree burn. Mm -hmm. A third degree burn is now uh, more severe mm -hmm. because uh, both the layers of the skin, that's uh, the dermis and the epidermis and the dermis, mm -hmm. and also the underlying tissues are affected. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the third degree burn, sometimes uh, the nerves might be affected and you might not even feel pain after the burn. And um, that's one of the severe burns. Mm -hmm. Yes. That sounds very scary. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that sounds very, very uh, yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's oh. not that beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so I read somewhere that children are more prone to get, you know, first, second degree burns. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's because of curiosity. But I, to see Thomas, no. Ah, yes, don't burn your kids. How, anyway. how to manage that, that they just keep 
touching, touching things all yes, over uh, the place. Children by nature, they are so uh, curious. They will touch everything and even put hot stuff in their <laughs> mouths and all that. So to manage that one, mm -hmm. make sure that uh, all the, if you have any uh, fire point or anywhere you expect that uh, you'll be using a fire, make mm -hmm. sure that uh, children go to that, don't go to that point. Mm -hmm. Also make sure that uh, you keep away mm -hmm. the kids while you're cooking mm -hmm. and don't lay, let them uh, be around fires that's in, in the kitchen and all that. Also, before, uh, if you need to, to wash your kid, make mm -hmm. sure that uh, you test the water temperature. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and for the kids who love um, the, 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 the showering or the bathing so much, mm. uh, don't take the kid close to the water without first uh, making sure that it's in the right temperature because most of them will, you just put uh, your hot water and they'll jump into the Without yes, sit yes. tying is on Gumoja yes, so test. They, they'll be <laughs> over excited and they'll just jump into the basin, and uh, mm -hmm. that can prove to be quite uh, fit. catastrophic event. Yeah. Okay, so let's just get down to four examples. Um, a baby, okay, maybe. If you don't keep looking at it, you don't know where it has gone. So let's say, for example, by mistake, a kind of a Now the kid is crying. What do I do? How do I fix the burn? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yes, your kid is burn a eh? mm -hmm. Yes, the best thing you can do is, first of all, uh, be calm. Mm -hmm. I know that is very hard for mothers. <laughs> Okay, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, one, you need to pick the child. Make sure that uh, they are out of danger first. Mm -hmm. That is, if uh, they are around the, the source of heat, mm -hmm. make sure that uh, you take them away. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, depending on what has burned them, because we have several causes of uh, burns, mm -hmm. Uh, you know how to address them. Like for instance, uh, some of the causes of the burns, mm -hmm. we have uh, we can get a burn if, uh, from what you call a dry dry heat, mm -hmm. that is from an open flame mm -hmm. or touching hot surfaces like the sphuria. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we can get burns from chemicals, mm -hmm. corrosive chemicals or mm -hmm. a strong alkalis. Mm -hmm. Electrical burns are also there. Mm -hmm. So we can and radiation, sun burns, and all that. So we can get burns from uh, quite uh, several stuff. So uh, on management, mm -hmm. one we need to come down to what has caused the burn. Mm -hmm. So if it's a burn from uh, either dry flay, uh, dry heat, or uh, maybe the, the the child has burned uh, by water, what you need to do is uh, first of all run the burnt area, in the water for around ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what you're trying to do, when you bring your body mm. uh, to, onto a hot surface, what your body will do basically, it will absorb the heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if uh, your body absorbs the heat, you need, it means even if you take away the, the, the heat source, mm -hmm. you still be burning because mm -hmm. you still have the heat. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if you ever, uh, maybe if uh, you get uh, a slight burn from a matchstick, mm -hmm. you'll get a relief if you just dip your finger. In, in water, water. Mm -hmm. yes. But what we do, we just dip it, and then uh, after several seconds, maybe ten seconds, we take the the, the, the finger out, and again you, you feel some itching pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, that's because your body has uh, has already absorbed the heat. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do, in short, you're burning from inside. You have to oh. the heat, so you're burning. Oh. So you need to stop the burning process. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is when you're dealing with the uh, dry and uh, also uh, the, the the skulls we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Again. Uh, if uh, we are talking about electrical burns, mm -hmm. uh, which happen a lot, especially in our homes, if we don't take care of um, our electrical appliances so well. I have a question. Yes. Electrical burn. Me and Ajua burn, I imagine motor, as in motor. Yeah. Either steam or a fire. No. Electrical <laughs> burns in shock. But what is it? Eh, umbe sema shock eh? Iyo si shock eh? Hey. Shock, uh, ni jina mbao traongrelea badai because uh, shock for us mm -hmm. means totally something different. So if you if you basically touch um, an active electrical, uh, maybe a cable, a live cable or mm -hmm. something, you will, the, the, the current will flow through you. Mm -hmm. Usually, you will get electrocuted. Mm -hmm. And with that, you will get some burns. Uh, you will get, uh, you will have some wounds even. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will have an entry and an exit wound. 
So you love an entry wound. Uh, from bullet. Ati? Something of that sort. <laughs> <laughs> an entry wound will be from where you've uh, touched the electrical appliance mm -hmm. or uh, the cable. And then we'll have an exit probably uh, where your body touches the ground. Aha, uh because -huh, yeah, so the current yes, is okay. Yes, the current, the current will flow through you. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, with that, one would be you need to be if you if if you are, you are to assist you need to be very careful mm -hmm. uh, because uh, if the person who is uh, who has been electrocuted sorry is still uh, in contact with the uh, with the live electrical uh, cables and mm -hmm. all that if you touch them you might also become a victim okay ni mona kwa movie unafaa kukuchukua kitu ka something that doesn't pass current kamba au hivi ndo ufanye hivyo okay okay uh, one, you're impressed. But, but, That's uh, me impressed. <laughs> 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 what I encourage people to do basically mm -hmm. is, uh, if possible, mm -hmm. try to eliminate the current. Basically, isolate the, the current from that area. Mm -hmm. So, if, uh, for instance, we have a uh, maybe it's a cable or a, it's a, we can dry, just try to switch off the power. Mm -hmm. That is a very basic thing mm -hmm. if you're able to mm -hmm. from the switch. And with that, uh, you actually get to remove the danger. Mm -hmm. So now, with electrical burns, uh, one, of the, one of the things which we, we, we need to be aware of is that uh, if you get electrocuted, there are chances that um, mm -hmm. the electricity might interfere with uh, your heart rhythm. The first thing I thought of was brain, actually. So heart. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, your heart as a rhythm, mm -hmm. of course, uh, the pumping rhythm. Mm -hmm. And that rhythm is uh, as a result of, uh, we, we have some, like a powerhouse in our hearts. Mm -hmm. We have a, a, a power point, a, a firing point in our heart where it releases some electrical impulses. Mm -hmm. So if uh, you get to, you get electrocuted, you can interfere with that. We can, let, let's call it an electrical reset. impulse uh, mm -hmm. system of our hearts and uh, now, mm -hmm utakuwa issues na the rhythm mm -hmm. you can even go into cardiac arrest hey that became and your serious heart wow stops. Uh -huh. so yes bands are that serious sometimes yes uh -huh. yeah, so if your heart stops now uh, we actually don't even worry about the exit and the <laughs> because yes bigger heart, problem yes, at hand. hand yes 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 mm -hmm. yes so again uh, if uh, your bands is a result of uh, maybe chemicals mm -hmm. one uh, if a chemical exposure you need to make sure that you don't, if you're the rescuer, now let me call you the rescuer, if mm -hmm. you're the one who is going to assist, you need to make sure that you don't expose yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we say, avoid mm -hmm. affecting and affected areas. In short, mm -hmm. if, um, uh, for instance, if the chemical is on my right hand, make sure that uh, I don't hand, contaminate uh, my left hand. Mm -hmm. yeah, so basically, with the uh, chemicals, we say, if it's a powder, you wa want first to rub it off, mm -hmm. brush it off then now you can uh, run in water mm -hmm. then if it's a it's, it's, it's a liquid you need to run it in water mm -hmm. severe cases are whereby uh, with chemical burns our eyes are involved mm. yes and you go doing like this yes, mm. and you go doing like this now you bring more trouble so what you're supposed to do if uh, you have maybe one of your eye mm -hmm. you need to run it water water for what 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is assuming we have running water. Yes, you have a running water. And if you <laughs> don't? <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, uh, if you're not <laughs> near water Because it's a reality. Yes, it's a reality. Mm. But it's not fortunate because I cannot tell you uh, you get anything else apart from water because mm -hmm. uh, you might put something else in the eye and mm. the, whatever you put in the eye and the chemical, they mm. start to react. A GMB maziwa. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yes. So, if that happens, so if that happens, mm -hmm. if uh, we get a reaction in your eye, mm -hmm. the reaction might also produce heat, and now you have, um, uh, you have damage. Now, what we say about chemical burns, mm -hmm. the don'ts mm -hmm. are the first thing is, <laughs> chemistry. never try to neutralize mm -hmm. that chemical mm -hmm. while it's still on the body because uh, we can have a reaction. You remember the exothermic and mm -hmm. yeah, so you, uh, on my body. Yeah. Yes, if you have an, a re uh, you have a reaction that's again more serious. I'd be freaking out. <laughs> you try to fix it, then suddenly it's effervescent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But I want me to pay my because at some point, I had 
nikisoma mm. nikifanya hizi ma chemistry chemistry i transitioned between hiyo pipette ya Mm -hmm. eh, so hiyo ilinipata kabla wakwe wajanja watulete uh -huh. kitu eh. Eh, why are you trying to play with our lives hmm? uh -huh. you see dangerous <laughs> yes it's uh, it's dangerous of course if uh, you get to sip the, the chemicals it's it becomes dangerous mm -hmm. but uh, I'm sure people from the lab are trained on how to handle those exposures mm -hmm. because uh, there are ins there are dangers which are reality in the labs mm -hmm. and they can happen mm -hmm. so the best way we can do it is first of all address how to manage them mm -hmm. at least have someone around the lab that's whoever is in charge of that lab mm -hmm. uh, should be knowing what to do in case of that so nika kwa na lifeguard kwa swimming pool so sa wako to hapo stand by kwa lab Okay, let's get to now something very important. Because the immediate thing on our talk fanya ni kweka Vaseline. But in my head, okay, see to not kakuta joto. But you yet make us see na nikaina see leo joto sandani vizuri sandu to chemka. Is that something we should be doing? Uh I can call it Uganga, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> People do quite a lot in terms of uh, what they think is helping. <laughs> Uh, what one like a unga, mm -hmm. one like a colgate. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you apply unga, the first few minutes mm. you'll feel some good relief mm -hmm. because uh, the unga will be absorbing the heat from your body. Mm -hmm. But again, after some while, that unga becomes a, like a charcoal now. Yes, oh, yeah. because it has the heat now, it will be burning you also. <laughs> if uh, again, oh no, you if you apply unga, uh -huh. you are causing more damage because if uh, you go to the hospital mm. with your wound and you've applied unga to make sure that there is no infection they need to clean the wound so they like scrape, scrape the oh, unga yes, out yes, yes. Ah. so why, why why you that's more of a torture so uh, don't torture the burn victims uh, yes don't torture <laughs> them water is allowed just okay. water let's start with is it water is yes. the only remedy Amma, that's uh, what you should start we with. usually have burn creams mm -hmm. but uh you know water is the most available mm -hmm. uh thing i can talk about mm -hmm. but if you have a burn cream yes you can apply a burn cream mm -hmm. yes is it something we can get over the counter ah uh, yes the burn is, creams is there certain types of creams that you recommend don't give me brands okay Amma, we can't mention without giving me brands okay, we can what? talk we, we can just talk of uh, uh -huh. Burn creams which have uh, uh, antibacterial properties, mm -hmm. yes, they are good for for, for, for the for the for the bugs. And also we have uh, creams which are able to like cool the the, the area. Mm -hmm. Yes, so those are actually good for bugs. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So you're a firefighter. Yes. And I'm a and mona vituza fire ni stop, drop, and roll. That's oh, yes. basic stuff. Yes. So, for example, um, I am around somewhere that has caught fire. I'm a motor to him in it. Okay. What's the first thing? Am I going to run? Kujeri! Am I going to start looking for water myself yeah. and be a hero? Like, what is the protocol? What am I supposed now, to do? Now, uh, you know, anyway, we can talk of stop, drop, and uh, roll. Mm -hmm. But uh, a fire seed and a fire occur is a very dynamic. It keeps on changing. Mm -hmm. So we can start from uh, maybe uh, how to navigate through smoke. Mm -hmm. Yes, what to do if uh, you are in a room mm -hmm. and uh, you are sure that outside that room there is a lot of fire. Mm -hmm. And now we will come to what happens when you are in your, either your clothes or something is on fire while you are wearing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, what you can do. So uh, for instance, uh, if you are in a room and uh, there, is a, there is a lot of smoke, mm -hmm. one, the first thing is one go down mm -hmm. yes make sure that you are below your knee level mm -hmm. yes uh, whenever we have smoke smoke will rise around 60 centimeters of the floor mm -hmm. leaving some some fresh air mm -hmm. yes so you want to go down so that you can breathe mm -hmm. while you're down breathe through your nose not through your mouth mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> uh, yes <laughs> so breathe through your nose mm -hmm. yes again be calm. Mm -hmm. Be calm. If uh, I know. <laughs> Manzea po kwa calm ni tricks eh. Yeah, ni kitu tricks sana. Mm. But uh, try being calm so that you can think. You know, if uh, you're anxious and all that, you'll not be thinking. You might do something crazy. Mm -hmm. That's why you see people jumping out of uh, roofs and mm -hmm. windows and all that. Mm -hmm. So try being calm. Go down. Mm -hmm. Now, the the major issue is uh, if this happens an, at night. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no there is an issue with visibility. Mm -hmm. Again, the smoke itself will come along. Uh, 
uh, some good amount of uh, darkness. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you can measure it. Mm. Um, <laughs> so, what I can advise is just go close to the wall mm -hmm. and follow the wall. Regardless of mm -hmm. how many meters you will go, mm -hmm. a wall will lead you to, the, to your door. It's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, another case is, uh, for instance, if uh, you're in your bedroom, mm -hmm. you're sleeping, mm -hmm. then uh, you wake up and feel a lot of heat, mm -hmm. some smoke is coming through to the bedroom, mm -hmm. and uh, it's evidence that, uh, it's a very evident that uh, we have fire maybe in your living room. Mm -hmm. How do you go about that? Again, mm -hmm. matters a lot. Uh, I'm sure people have seen movies where people run through the fire. Yeah, <laughs> blanket mm. then carries you now, majestically. Now, when you blanket, it's uh, more of cotton. Oh, yes. Now, what you're supposed to do is first, uh, the best thing you can do is buy time. Mm -hmm. Yes, for yourself. You're in the bedroom, it's a bit safe there. We, we call that shelter in. in. Mm -hmm. You just shelter yourself where you are. Make sure that you're in. Now, what you need to do, one, mm -hmm. uh, pick a piece of cloth, mm -hmm. uh, preferably something wet, fix it on the gap below the door. Mm -hmm. That is to actually um, stop the smoke from coming in. Mm -hmm. Then don't open the door mm -hmm. to your living room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, you need to call for help from there. Mm -hmm. You can either use a phone call or a wave through the windows and uh, shout for help from the windows and mm -hmm. all that. Yes, but don't run through the fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's very dangerous. Don't run through the fire. Uh, because if you run through the fire, you're running, you catch fire. So, you know, the and And you know that... Uh, if your house is in fire, mm -hmm. we love like crazy amount of degrees, mm -hmm. the heat itself. Mm -hmm. We love so much in terms of smoke. As I start to imagine, it's when you buy mabati. Yes. Mabati, umeona mabati kikua something like uh, liquid, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do I do if I'm inside such a situation? Now, if you're inside a, a mabati house, mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, you, you can say it's, it's, a, it's a bit easier to escape from that. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, if uh, you're in a region which is unaffected, mm -hmm. I believe it's easy to cut through a mabati. You can even use a knife. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can, you, because a uh, mabati itself doesn't uh, resist so much in terms of heat. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you'll be like uh, boiling in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But one thing which I've talked about, don't run through the fire. Because the smoke itself mm -hmm. will actually kill you before you burn. You run uh, yeah. through the fire, you cannot, burn without, you cannot run without breathing. You breathe, there is a lot of smoke. So you just... I did not imagine yes, that possibility. Yes, inhale the smoke and hey. collapse. Okay, I want us to talk about something. And, and I, I don't mean any offense, but the response time for calling for emergency services in Kenya is a bit questionable. Nikipigia karao, nikipigia fire station, nikipigia tu ambulance. There's always some type of... It doesn't arrive as fast as I imagine it should. Cindy, so <laughs> how many times <laughs> tumesikia gikomba imechomeka? It's like a yearly thing. As in ispochomeka kuna shida. Yeah? So what am I supposed to do as a person? How am I supposed to help myself and those around me before help comes around? Okay. Uh, <laughs> the issue of fire, <laughs> fire engines not arriving in time and mm -hmm. all that—it's—it's uh, it's not your fault. Okay, no, well, <laughs> it's really not your fault. Sometimes uh, <laughs> we get the blame, mm -hmm. uh, while in real sense, uh, it's not our fault mm -hmm. because uh, sometimes, like for instance, if um, if you just go around town mm -hmm. and uh, you ask people, how many people have emergency numbers? Mm -hmm. There'll be like, uh, you'll only get around three in every 100 people. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Your house will be burning. Mm -hmm. You don't have an emergency number to call. Mm -hmm. So by the time uh, we get someone who has an emergency number to call, mm -hmm. maybe that's uh, over 30 minutes down the line. And fire is so disrespectful. Yeah. It just spreads. <laughs> yes, yeah, spreads very, very fast. Mm -hmm. So now we have received the call, uh, the emergency call. Mm -hmm around 30 minutes after the fire started. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're aware of the situation in our roads. Mm 
there is a lot of traffic jam and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, most of <laughs> Kenyan drivers don't give way to these ambulances and fire. Now, to get to you, 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 we get the blame. Mm -hmm. Now, if, uh, if, for instance, if, uh, we, uh, if Kenyans uh, we had uh, maybe something like an, an hot number mm -hmm. to dial, something like uh, a reliable 999 nine, mm -hmm. nine or something like that. You see, keyword reliable. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, could be a bit better. Response could be a bit better. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, for instance, if you need to call, uh, let's talk of Nairobi mm -hmm. County Fire Brigade. Mm -hmm. What number do you use? All I know, by the way, is triple nine. That is all I know. At na ni mepigeyo number mara kada kuipima na kunam tu chikuwa. Yes. Now mm -hmm. you see, uh, that's a challenge mm -hmm. by itself. Yes. Yeah, so we need to uh, either adopt a system whereby we can have a reliable hot number system, mm -hmm. and also, as of now, uh, we need to have the numbers in our phones. Mm -hmm. People have smartphones which can accommodate over uh, several thousands of contacts. <laughs> Yes, just save a few for emergency mm -hmm. uh, uh, ambulances and fire trucks and also maybe police. Mm -hmm. Yes, it won't cost anything. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, please do take out your devices. I don't care how big or small, but we're going to take these numbers down yes. because they might just save a life. Give us the emergency numbers that we need to know. Uh, yes, I can give you one um, reliable number, mm -hmm. which happens to be... which. Which, which happens to be a link between all the, most, not all, but most of the ambulances mm -hmm. in the country, mm -hmm. uh, works like more of an Uber. Mm -hmm. You call them, mm -hmm. they'll uh, basically uh, see an ambulance which is closer to you, they will wow. just dispatch that particular ambulance. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the number is 07-14-911-1111. Uh, One more time. Zero seven one four nine one one nine one one nine one one was yeah. that kusu, ilikuwa kusu <laughs> okay. yes it's, and again it's a, a bit easy mm -hmm. yes so with that number that's a flare rescue mm -hmm. if uh, you call that number they'll just dispatch an ambulance which is closer to your area mm -hmm. and the appropriate ambulance you know, we have different types of ambulances mm -hmm. yes a diff uh, an ambulance which suits your need mm -hmm. yes so that's what they look that sounds cool yes. all right so that means if i call that number stands up sometimes customer care is not very caring to the customer so nanza kubishanam hi i need help okay are we going to start those ones uh what, no mm -hmm. but what this is what i'll say about that mm -hmm. uh those guys will ask several questions mm -hmm in order to help you. Because, mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you cannot call and say, and start screaming and say, I need an ambulance. Kwanza uliye. Uh, uliye. Uh -huh. And then you expect the ambulance to be there. They need to know your location. See, the eyes is so my pin yangu nifungwe tu location na jwe malini. Now, uh, maybe that is possible, but mm -hmm. how many people leave their location uh, on okay. all the time? Okay, Most okay. of us don't, yeah? That's yeah, so uh, if they ask you questions, there'll be few questions, mm -hmm. and they answer them. Mm -hmm. They need to know who they are talking to. Mm -hmm. They need to know what emergency crisis you are facing because mm -hmm. they need to know what type of an ambulance or a fire engine they need to send. Mm -hmm. And also location. They cannot send an ambulance <laughs> somewhere. Eh? Mm -hmm. The system does wa doesn't work like teleporting eh? where you just call and the ambulance <laughs> appears. So they need to actually understand your location so that they get to uh, mm -hmm. dispatch an ambulance to your location. Mm -hmm. So that's a very reliable number. Yes. All right, so I want us to recap as we conclude. Uh, we'll finish off with the number, but now the, just the basic things, what we should do with burns or scalps that we can manage at home when we need to realize we need to see a doctor for help. Yeah. Okay, uh, so we've talked about uh, how to manage the burns, mm. but uh, generally we say the first thing you want to do is to eliminate the heat source. Mm -hmm. Again, stop the burning process. Mm -hmm. If you have an wound, uh, you might want to cover it. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you clean it so that you don't get infection. But uh, if you get any, anything more than four inches, mm -hmm. uh, you might need to, to see a doctor. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, for those who break the blisters after 
the burn and you don't break the blister because oh, that's yeah. another channel yeah. for infection oh. basically the blister is to is, is formed to, is a it's a body's way of trying to protect the underlying tissue mm -hmm. so just leave the blister there but if the uh, the blister breaks mm -hmm. now you need to clean it with warm water mm. okay yes you might need to actually make sure that uh, if uh, you, you don't get more of uh, infection to the wound. You need to protect it from infection. So, in the last plus? Uh, we can talk of having a, uh, something to cover. And bio, it's mm. non-sticky. Something which uh, will not stick on the wound. Because that wound. sticky might stick stick with the skin. Just like time you put on a top and go. If you come, maybe if uh, you do something which has uh, cotton or so, mm -hmm. uh, might get stuck on the wound and you love to remove it. So that sounds like so much fun. Mm -hmm. Not fun, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because uh, what you do if the wound had started uh, healing mm -hmm. and you, you, you have to remove those uh, mm -hmm. things, it means that uh, you just need to redo the wound again. Yes. Okay. Uh, but uh, above all, mm -hmm. we can talk of prevention. Mm -hmm. uh, so make sure that uh, you don't leave unattended uh, cooking pots. Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure that uh, you do some good trunking, mm -hmm. ap electrical appliances, avoid overloading the circuits and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also for those who smoke, don't smoke uh, while you're in bed. Wait, 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 yes, wait, 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 you wait. can uh, you can doze off and drop the the, the, the cigar in your <laughs> mattress. Yes, so you should be very careful on that. Uh -huh. Yes, again, kids, mm -hmm. they are the small masters of everything <laughs> they actually do almost everything mm. and they don't know how to do so make sure that one mm. uh you don't let your kids uh, be around hot stuff and mm -hmm. fires yes and and our twenty and up and I'm a question in a kiva at what an ekele food equal to a chem can end up a duka nakam Yes. That's also dangerous. Yes, so don't leave unattended mm -hmm. cooking pots. That's right. really dangerous. And now we finish off with the number. He said it's reliable, so we're going to go with his word. Give us the number again, please. Okay, yeah, the number is 07 mm -hmm. 14 mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Did you forget? Uh, no, I, Zero seven? Uh, I have several numbers, so I was thinking of also giving out oh. to my agencies. Emergency yeah, number. do that, do that. Yes, for those who are around in and around Thika, mm -hmm. uh, ICT Fire and Rescue, mm -hmm. uh, we are located somewhere along Garissa Road. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we are a response company. We offer emergency response 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And we also are an, a, a school which trains on uh, wow. firefighting and also emergency medical technician courses. Mm -hmm. Among others, we have several courses. And we have, uh, you are to contact us for emergency reasons, uh, the number is zero seven two two three three seven 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 six. Again, zero seven two two three three seven 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 six. Okay. Yes, again for rescue or uh, flare rescue zero seven one four nine one one. Nine one one. I also invite people to. I said uh, I'm, a I'm registered under the Kenya Council of Emergency Medical Technicians. Mm -hmm. So we'll be having a fire and Im emergency medical service symposium. Wow. Yes, uh, from the 18th to the 23rd mm -hmm. at uh, uh, the Kenya Airports Authority mm -hmm. uh, Training School. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, so you can join us and uh, get more of this. Uh, awareness. The mm -hmm. theme of the the symposium will be uh, firefighter uh, recognition and uh, awareness in pre fire prevention, mm -hmm. and also recognizing emergency medical technicians mm -hmm. and the, what they are supposed to do in our normal day to day life. Me no na nyindo mashuja itan, sinto. Okay. Let me take that as a compliment. It <laughs> is. It is. Uh, yes. I right, thank you so very much, John, for coming. We have uh, learned something. I hope you have learned something. But if you have just joined us, you can watch the segment again on YouTube. That is at Y254 channel. That is at Y254 channel. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Thank you again. Asante, Sana. Yeah, I can I say you. something? Uh, yes. You, you, you talked of shock. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, I need, the reason why I said we will talk about shock later on. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say someone is in shock, mm -hmm. or someone has, uh, is, sh is in shock, basically, mm. we don't re uh, really mean uh, the electric thing. Eh? Mm. Yes, that is electrocution, basically. So shock 
is whenever we have inadequacy in terms of blood supply. Yes, uh, we, have, uh, we don't have adequate blood supply. Mm -hmm. Now, on when to see a doctor, uh, one of the cases is uh, if you have lost uh, so much in terms of body fluids, mm -hmm. uh, you have those signs of shock. You see someone is pale, okay? uh, dropped levels of consciousness, mm -hmm. yes, you need to see a doctor. Uh, we talked of anything more than, for any wound more than, a burn wound more than four inches, you need to see a doctor also. Mm -hmm. And whenever you, you, you see that uh, maybe you have an infection from a burn wound, you need to see a doctor. Mm -hmm. So, shock. What when you want to shock, pale uh, nyumbani, I need to remind you that um, shock and inadequacy in terms of blood supply. So, electrocution, take care of that. Mm -hmm. Make sure that uh, cables and uh, extensions are, not, are not placed on the ground because water will just basically hey. and uh, you'll have a different scenario yes i <laughs> surprise but you you're full of surprises okay yes. anything that you really want to say <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes i'll finish off by mm -hmm. because uh, we talked of how to navigate through smoke and everything but we didn't talk of uh, if you catch fire mm -hmm. so if uh, you you're on fire in short if your clothes are, uh, you catch fire we say you need to stop don't run mm -hmm. because if you run you uh, I'm, I'm sure you've been, oxygen. Yes, you have been in uh, on, on a motorbike so yes Nduthi. whenever <laughs> yes go on let mm. me call it Nduthi. you meet and go on duty kama una pepeto mm. yes because of that speed so whenever you're running you're basically fanning the fire mm -hmm. so it's a quote mm -hmm. uh -huh. Again, uh, we say, so stop, don't run, mm -hmm. drop down, mm -hmm. and then roll. Mm -hmm. uh, but remember, mm -hmm. don't, drop, don't drop like a piece of a net or a, or a stone. Eh? Mm -hmm. yes. The best thing you can talk about dropping, eh? mm -hmm. just uh, cover your face well. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need to cover your face well because um, if you get uh, burns to you, we can call it airway, eh? through mm -hmm. the nose to the lungs, or uh, through the mouth up to the lungs, mm -hmm. That's quite serious mm -hmm. uh, because you'll have issues with breathing anyway. Mm -hmm. So uh, we say that uh, cover your face. Make sure that uh, your arms pass through by the chest so that if anything has to come to your chest, pass, uh, just to fast pass through the, the arms because uh, they are it's quite a reflex. Mm. And there are quite a lot of uh, vital organs mm. in your chest cavity. And uh, then now you can roll. Okay. Yes. So Just stop, to then roll. drop, yes. EV, and if then you roll. roll. You are cutting the oxygen supply. And don't uh, funika also as if you're taking a selfie. Yeah? Completely cover your <laughs> face. <laughs> yes, completely cover your face so that you, you prevent the chances of inhaling hot fumes. Okay. Yes. I believe uh, <laughs> that is all for now. Maybe you can invite us next another time for more. Of in our, uniform. Yes, uh, I'll come in uniform. Thanks. And mm. I can also come with a few more guys. So yeah, you make look, this look like a fire station. I'm the letter we will. Nataka pay or something. For the viewers, they cannot see the we will come with it. Aww. So we'll just, okay. I'll just come with several guys. I can yes, do with that. Yes. Thank you again. Uh, excuse me. Hi, thank you for being with us on the segment. K. Alex is coming up. You do not want to miss it.